wife, uh, finds a way. Hey, Clats. So yesterday I got to visit Jerusalem for the last time during this trip and it made me want to make kind of a recap video. I did this last year, but it was more kind of like a travel guide style. If you want to check it out, there will be a little card up here or you can click down in the description below. But for, but anyways, I wanted to kind of recap the trip and talk about it a little bit because it was a little bit different than I expected it to be. Back before we left Miami, I was kind of planning on this trip being more of like a nature trip and us hiking more, kind of like what it was last year. But when I got here, everything changed drastically and this trip kind of turned into more of like a people trip. Almost every aspect of the two months I traveled throughout the country this year was based around people, making new friends, new interactions, learning about things. So let's recap a little bit. We flew in here May 17th and we kind of went on a guided tour of Israel for two weeks. It was a group trip, kind of like the birthright trip we did the year before, but it was more oriented around religion, more about Judaism. We did that with the Pastrami boys, Moshe, and 40 other college students from around the United States. It was incredible, it was amazing. I went in pretty skeptical and I did not think I was going to enjoy it, but I, man, I ended up loving it. And one of the biggest reasons for that is because we stayed in the beautiful, gorgeous city of Jerusalem. That was one of the highlights of this trip this year is I really got to connect with that city. There's a, there's a strange thing about Israel and Jerusalem specifically because when you hear in the news and when you hear people talking about Israel or Jerusalem, it's usually based around violence or some type of tragedy or some type of uh, terrorist attack or violence or something like that. And when you go there, it's so different in this tiny little old city made of old bricks that cars can't drive through and crap ton of people just shoved into and it works and it just works. Yes, there's problems here and there, but overall day-to-day -day life is incredible. Do yourself a favor. If you're a person who finds deeper meanings behind things and finds finds a spiritual connection to things, anything in life, come to the city of Jerusalem. I promise you the second you enter, you're going to feel it. There's something there. So enough about the J. So after the trip ended, we got some time to hang out with the beautiful pastrami boys and Moses out in Tel Aviv, and we got to indulge in the amazingness of the gay pride parade in Tel Aviv this year. There were 200,000 people there. It was an event I got to document and show you guys a one-of-a-kind experience in this whole region. Thousands of miles, if you go north, east, west, south, it does not matter, you will never see something like that. After that, we got to indulge in some of the beautiful nature of Elat, go diving again like we did last year. So one thing that we did get to do this year that we didn't do last year was hike in the mountains of Elat. When we got to that high point of the mountain and I got to see Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Jordan and Israel all in one spot. It really showed me how small everything is and how, how close we are to one another. And plus the nature underwater, there's nothing beats the Red Sea. After that, we got to come to one of my favorite places in Israel, which was En Gedi, the beautiful nature reserve in the middle of the desert. I'm gonna explain it by letting you guys watch that video. Words cannot put into place how I feel about that place. And then finally, we got to hang out with some badass kangaroos in the north of Israel. But the things I got to experience with people are some things, first of all, that I, I couldn't have got on camera and I didn't want to get on camera. I like to film the highlights, I like to film the cool things, but I, I don't film everything that happens. And I don't think I will be doing anything like that anytime soon. I think the way I portray my travels and my experiences on YouTube is very unique and different to the way other people do. And I think I'm gonna keep it that way for the long time coming. To get back to the original point, the people here are incredible and they are what made this trip what it was this year. And I am oh so grateful to that. For those of you guys who are new watching my videos, especially those of you who I met this summer, I wanna say thank you. Thank you for being a part of my life. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. Israel this year was fantastic. I can't wait to come back. I hope you guys feel inspired to come out here and see it yourself. Please go back and enjoy some of the videos from last year and enjoy some of the videos from this year again because no amount of vlogging will ever compare to actually being here. So buy your ticket soon, class. I will see you guys in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. I love you a long, long time. Goodbye.